open up a new part in inches we're going to look at creating reference geometry and auxiliary views in this video we'll create the model and in the second video we'll create the drawings I'm in inches and pounds to get started we're going to look at our planes here you can click one and hold shift and click the bottom one we want to show these so that we can see them all the time We'll do the same with our origin. If you right click and hide, right click and show, make sure you can see that. We're gonna draw our first sketch on the top plane. Now I can see I'm in sketch mode and I'm on the top plane. I'll start with a rectangle and I'll just draw that with no other automated uh, relations. I'm going to dimension this part to be three inches wide by two inches in width. And my next step is to fillet the corner. So I'll go to the sketch fillet. And for my fillet parameters, this will be a quarter inch. I'll select all corners to be filleted. and I'll hit OK. You can see I have a lot of relations that exist now. The next thing I want to do is make sure that this is centered and I'll just do that by splitting up the difference. I'll use my dimension to dimension this line to that origin point. And this is going to equal this dimension over two and that should be good i'll do the same i'll go from the center to this edge and this dimension should equal this dimension over two that should help center this part along the origin my last step is to create some quarter inch circles I'm going to make a global variable for this. Let's go to tools and equations. And I'll call that whole diameter. And I'm going to set that to 0.25 and I'll hit OK. So now when I double click this, I'm going to say equals, and I have global variables to choose from my whole diameter. And I'll make sure that that goes through. So now I'm going to create each hole the same. That should complete the base sketch and it should be fully defined. I'm going to extrude this three quarters of an inch as a blind extrude. And that completes the base of my part. I'm going to rename this so that I know which feature is which. Now to move forward, we need an angled plane off of this front plane. We're looking for a part that is 30 degrees to that front plane. We need an axis right up the middle of this part. So let's create an axis and we'll do that from the front plane and the right plane. And if you notice it puts a little axis in between here. We'll hit check. Now we can create our reference geometry. We'll use a plane. We'll select the front plane and our axis. And then we're gonna set an angle to 30 degrees. 
and we actually want to flip the offset so we want it to go in this direction that should give us a good work plane to draw on we're going to start our next sketch and we're going to use this new plane to create our sketch on let's hit sketch and select that plane I'm going to take this back edge and convert that entity onto this plane. I'll click convert to entities and I'll select this back edge. I'll hit check and now that line has been carried through to this plane. I'd like to take this plane if I right click and select normal to and that'll allow me to see the plane at this angle. I will begin drawing on this face and I'm going to turn this into wireframe mode so that I don't accidentally interact with the wrong geometries. We can see my line is right there and I'm going to draw off of that line. Now we can draw our part along this line. And it might be worthwhile to draw a construction line up from that origin point just to give us a place to mirror around. If we use our standard mirror tool, we can move our parts across this line and we can use our smart dimension to finish our drawing. Make sure that if these are not already that these lines are collinear with each other and we'll start dimensioning this part out. And that should complete that part of the geometry. Our last step is to set these apart from here to here. Make sure that's the linear distance. And that should be 0.75. We're going to create a tangent arc. And that will connect these parts here. Our last step is to trim entities and we're going to say trim to closest and that should let us trim this extra line here and any extra should be good. Make sure that these are tangent. If you're missing a dimension Make sure you put that in. Looks fully defined, yet it's not complete. So on this side, I will extend to complete my profile. And that should complete that line. The last step is to put a three-quarter hole in the center and that should complete this part and it should be fully defined. Extrude this here. We have our part here and we want to extrude this one inch. And we're going to say mid plane so it splits the difference. I'll switch to shaded edges so you can see what's starting to occur. And we'll shoot it and see what happens. 
Notice how it didn't take that center. We need to make sure that we click that selection. So we can always go back to that feature, edit the feature, and I'll select that hole through. And that should complete that portion of the part. I'm going to rename this tree item. We have one more step. We're going to create an offset plane from this face. So we'll go to our reference geometry, click plane, and we'll select this face. It's asking us for a distance, and we want this to be three quarters of an inch above this face. I don't get these two planes confused. I'm going to rename this plane to angled plane. And I'll rename this to offset plane. I'm going to sketch on the center of the offset plane. And I'm going to switch back to wireframe view. Now I'll go to the top of my drawing. And here I'm just going to draw another quarter inch hole, which I already have my uh, variable for. So I'll come back and change this dimension to my global variable that I set before. When I rotate my part, you can see the hole is in the center of this larger hole perpendicular. I'll exit this sketch and I will do an extruded cut. This will be a through all and I will flip my direction so it goes through the top of my part. I'll hit check and I'll come back to my shaded with edges. I will turn off the visibility of all of these planes. And my origin and my axes. So you can see the final part. And this should complete the part before we start creating a drawing for it. Don't forget to save this.